Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to our first live virtual um, open event on today, which is GCSE uh, Results Day and for lots of students, vocational results too. I know this year that results have been mired in a lot of confusion. I hope that over the course of this afternoon's talks from various colleagues that we'll be able to bring some clarity as to what you can do with your uh, results, where you've got them and the sorts of support that you can expect from your college. Um, well, I am aware that there are a small number of BTEC results which are not yet uh, available. We are expecting those uh, in the next uh, seven days, in particular from Pearson and that unfortunately is an announcement that came yesterday at 4.30 which was very very late and I know that will heighten the anxiety for some uh, students and I'm really sorry uh, that the system has let you down so badly uh, in that way. Nonetheless we're here for you whatever uh, you do or don't have with you when it comes to results do pick up the phone uh, to talk to us about your results and do uh, stay with us this afternoon as we share information about how you can uh, enroll and what sorts of uh, qualifications are available at your college. I want to first start by talking about what the role of uh, the college is and we're here to support you to progress to your next step. That's why we're concerned to think about your future. All of our courses are designed with uh, progression in mind. We deliver those with high quality teaching. We work in partnership with a range of employers, universities uh, and others. And our number one aim is to support you to achieve and be the best that you can be. As well as access to our highly skilled and qualified staff, you can also expect to have access to a range of industry experts to support you uh, in, in enriching your uh, programme alongside the, the, the work of our staff. And I hope that if you're in a position to be joining us in September, that that's something you find to be useful. We, you might imagine that we do have an enormous number of policies and procedures uh, within the college, but it helps me to think about the college's core values as the way in which we organise ourselves. So we're absolutely committed to you being successful and success is our first value. Our core expectation of you will be that you work exceptionally hard uh, as a student within our institution and we'll support you by providing really high quality uh, teaching and learning. We're absolutely ambitious and that's why right at the very start of my presentation I'm talking about well, where is it you're trying to get to, where do you want to be? That's because we're ambitious for you to be able to progress. Of course, we're interested in making sure you achieve your qualification and it's as positive as it can be. But what matters to me more is that you can use that qualification in a positive way as a stepping stone to move uh, to the next level. So we're here to support you to learn and we'll also support you in your next steps. This is a large and diverse institution and we have around 7,000 students. There are almost 1,000 employees and therefore respect our third value is really important to everybody that's part of uh, the college community. Respect for each other, respect for the environment. You can expect us to understand and know you as an individual and you can expect us to make sure that everything that is unique about you is well supported. We've got a strong, strong track record despite the size and complexity of the college of knowing our students really well and making sure that they're supported. Whilst we've got high expectations and we're ambitious for you and we want to respect you as an individual, we nonetheless care deeply. We have access to an enormous range of on-site support services, whether it's welfare, counselling, our safeguarding teams, colleagues who work in careers, uh, a rich uh, array of colleagues in our student services function. They're all part of that way in which we care about you. You'll also have access to a skilled uh, progress tutor whose primary responsibility will be to make sure that it, you are supported across your whole programme uh, of, of study and that's all designed to make sure that you're both safe academically, educationally, pastorally but also that, that you're able to make the positive progress that you deserve to make. Colleges are rich diverse places when it comes to our workforce and we are no different here at York College. We have highly skilled and knowledgeable um, staff Many of our staff are what I refer to as paraprofessionals. They work part time here as a member of academic staff. That's a skill and a qualification that they've got. But they're also industry professionals working part time in the industries uh, that they're supporting you uh, to move into. That enables them to bring to bear the best contemporary practice 
in supporting you to understand how you can both achieve your qualification, but also function effectively as you progress from us, perhaps to a higher level of learning or indeed into the world of work. There's a massive uh, amount of experience here. We work with uh, adults and young people at a range of ages, starting from 14 uh, up to much older uh, than that. And therefore, we've got a strong experience of working with uh, people at, at all of those ages and all of the different challenges uh, that that might bring. We also have a strong number of uh, teaching staff who are national examiners and that means they've got a special insight into way uh, in which the examination system work now many of you will know that you didn't sit exams this year but next year our full expectation is that you will be sitting uh, exams what i'm not saying is that those staff will be able to tell you what's going to be on the question paper but they will know the sorts of ways in which exams are to be structured and can support you to be uh, prepared in the best possible way to be successful why would you choose York College and not any other institution? Well, we've got some of the best results uh, within the region and indeed within uh, the country. In our own region, Yorkshire and Humberside, we're in the top uh, for both our A-level uh, and wider academic uh, studies and in the top eight colleges nationally. We have really high quality success rates when it comes to technical uh, education and our students make better progress than students at other uh, institutions and I'll show you a graph uh, about that in a short while. We are much more likely than not to have and to be able to create for you the package of uh, qualifications that you wish to study. I know there are lots of great uh, providers uh, around us but there are no other providers that have got the breadth of offer that we have here uh, in York and I hope that will support you and being confident to come here knowing we'll almost certainly be able to guarantee you uh, getting the package of qualifications that, that you want to uh, move on to. Uh, I've said a number of times that we are skilled at supporting you to progress and that's because it's one of the most important things that matters to me. It does matter what sort of quality of qualification you get. It matters more to me what you do with it uh, once you've got it and therefore all of our staff um, are focused uh, on that. This is a, an adult and professional uh, environment. This is not an extension of school and in some areas it will feel much more like a junior university than perhaps it will uh, a school. Whilst of course there'll be lots of things that we expect you to comply with, our default expectation will be that you are uh, moving into uh, operating as a professional, as an adult and therefore you can expect us to treat you um, in that way. Ofsted also thought that we were outstanding the last time they were here in 2013 and I'm confident that they will nonetheless think this remains an excellent uh, institution uh, if they were to have the opportunity to visit us again. The college is diverse and students come to us from a range of backgrounds and there are some examples here now of students who uh, joined us from schools within the local community and moved into uh, qualifications with us and secured really, really high levels of success that enabled them to move to uh, the next level. We've got examples of students here with straight A stars who've gone off to um, top performing universities. We've got examples of adults who returned uh, as mature learners to train and to pick up skills that perhaps they didn't achieve at a time that they were participating in education earlier. And we've got individuals who've both learnt here and in the workplace re re reflecting a rich diversity uh, of students. We also have courses for you to progress to at a range of levels. So we don't just offer um, A levels, we offer a rich range of vocational programmes. We also have a dedicated and designated university centre in which you might progress to once you've completed your studies at level three. A levels have an academic uh, approach, a mix of ways in which you might be assessed if you're studying uh, A levels with us. The principal mode of assessment is going to be examination and therefore you can expect staff to be working with you to develop your examination practice skills. I know that for some of you joining uh, us from year 11 this year, the last time that you took an exam will be back in uh, year 10, which will be a, a mock examination as part of your GCSE studies and therefore we'll want to work with you pretty quickly uh, as you join us to make sure that you haven't lost those uh, examination and practice skills. Uh, to make sure that you are as successful as you can be. 
I've stressed already the breadth of offer that we've got when it comes to A-levels, almost 40 subjects. And in fact, in some of those subject areas, in particular, uh, in some of the languages, we are the only provider in the city where you could uh, choose those subjects and support us. We recommend that you start with four subjects. We still offer AS qualifications and that's important uh, where they're available. We think that's important for you to have an opportunity to participate and experience what uh, that first year available study might be, but also to get a qualification for it and to have the UCAS points uh, that come with it that will be positive for you as you start to think about moving uh, to your next level, in particular for university. Most of our students after year one will move to uh, studying three A-level subjects uh, in full. However, there are uh, examples of students who can carry on studying uh, four subjects in full at A-level. And we, if that uh, is something which is of interest to you, then of course we'd want to have the conversation with you uh, when we start to think about your uh, progress uh, over time uh, across that uh, first year. These are some other examples of students who uh, fared particularly well um, this year. Now, I'm delighted to say that uh, despite the confusion around examinations this year, these are students who got the grades that were proposed for them by our centre and have been enabled to go off to uh, their next level. Examples here uh, of uh, medicine, uh, illustratively, and that's a great testament to the work that both the students did, but also supported uh, by staff who know those universities um, really well and can support students uh, to be successful. And I definitely don't want to undermine the quality of their achievements, despite uh, the confusion that, that surrounded the issuing of their results. Every single student at York College since the lockdown has, has continued to engage uh, in learning in a really positive way. And that commitment and determination is reflected in the outcomes of the two students, Harry and Alicia, standing beside me, albeit in a virtual form uh, this afternoon. I mentioned earlier that we move students further than other providers. And in fact, we're in the top 10% of colleges nationally. And what I mean by this is that if you leave school and your prediction is that you might get a C at A level, it's more likely than not that we'll be able to support you to secure a B. And in fact, in some circumstances, even more. Uh, and that value added means that you're much more likely to achieve higher grades and be able to get into some of the best universities in the country if you study with us than perhaps with other people. That value added is a really, really uh, important measure of, of how we support you to be successful and support you to make progress. Of course, it's not all about A-level qualifications. It's not all about academic study. There are a rich and diverse range of vocational courses in our college at a range of levels. Now, those level three vocational qualifications are weighted the same as our A-level qualifications. And in fact, as many students leave our vocational provision at level three, the A-level equivalent, and go to university, as do uh, students who study A-levels with us. So, do, don't believe anything you hear about this being a second value opportunity or a second uh, rate type of qualification that you might achieve. These are really brilliant qualifications applied uh, in vocational study, grounded uh, with the support of industry, and you are very likely to be successful both in uh, progression straight into work, achieving qualification uh, in this area, or indeed progressing um, to university. And you can see on the bottom of that slide a rich array of subjects that you might study, whether it's sport or construction, fashion, art and design, sciences, music, and so on. Lots and lots of rich opportunities for subjects that you could study uh, with really well regarded qualifications. All of those courses that I've talked about are offered in the full time uh, mode so that they, you are here most of the time working uh, either in classrooms or in work, uh, workshop uh, environments. That may not be for you. Uh, another route you might consider is the apprenticeship route. And we offer these again at a range of levels, some in partnership with our Institute of Technology. Students studying an apprenticeship are principally employees of the organisation that they're undertaking their uh, apprenticeship with. So you might be with us in this example on a day a week basis, released from your employer to undertake some of the theoretical uh, and applied content that perhaps you need to develop uh, craft skills for and support with. But most of the time, you'll be out in the workplace 
undertaking a job uh, with an employer, you'll also be getting paid if you're undertaking a, a qualification uh, in this area. One of our assessors will be visiting you frequently to talk to you and your employer about your progress, how your skills are um, developing. And again, these are now high valued, highly praised and prized uh, qualifications. And if, if you're the sort of person that benefits well from both being motivated by wanting to get into employment, benefits from having that sense of applied learning, then an apprenticeship might be exactly the qualification that you want to um, study. Thinking uh, uh, on that theme of apprenticeships, 82% uh, said that uh, having undertaken an apprenticeship improved their ability to do the job. Well, that's not really that surprising given that those individuals uh, were doing that job at the same time as undertaking the qualification, which may not be the case for individuals who are undertaking qualifications in the classroom based mode. And of course, there are individuals that, that supported those individuals to uh, improve uh, their ca career progression immeasurably as they stayed with that uh, employer. That, that employer, of course, has invested in you as an apprentice, knows you well, knows what skills uh, you have been able to um, develop, but also knows what your uh, capabilities are in the long term and knows that you've got a sense of uh, loyalty to them. Almost all of the employers, 96% of them that we work with, would recommend studying uh, their apprenticeship uh, at York College. And that, I think, is a great testament to the high quality of work that we undertake. So three main routes that you might be considering, an academic and A-level route, vocational route in a range of applied uh, disciplines, nonetheless with a, a high degree of academic content or an apprenticeship route where you're earning and learning, working with an employer or perhaps in college uh, one day a week. I said right at the start that I am, of course, as a college principal concerned about qualifications, but what matters to me most is what you do with those qualifications uh, once you've got them. And this chart just shows you that we know where our students go because it matters. Large numbers go into employment, Others go into uh, continued FE study, over 40% go to uh, university. And that I think is a really positive indication of the quality of the qualifications that, that our students uh, have access to, but also that they are grounded in that sense of applied uh, learning and support individuals to progress as they move on. Of course, there's lots and lots that goes on in classrooms and all of those qualifications are uh, with the support of highly skilled and qualified members of teaching and assessing staff. But there is also an enormous amount of support uh, that is available to you if you join York College as one of our students. And here are examples of just some of those. Now, I know for some of you, you'll be leaving an environment that perhaps feels a little bit smaller, uh, where you know all of the people that work there, you perhaps know everybody else in your year group, and that's highly unlikely to be the case when you join York College because there are large, large numbers of people. What I would say is that we know our students exceptionally well. Teachers know their students well, support staff and professional services staff know their students well. And we know that because we have systems in place for student support, for learning support, you'll have a personal tutor, a progress tutor, and we'll be able to support you to make sure we know the things that are individual to you that, that make sure you are as successful as you can be. We also know that you might well have been out of school for the last 24 weeks by the time you come and join us in September. And we want to make sure if that's created anxiety in you or a fear of returning to learning that colleagues in our counselling uh, and health and wellbeing teams are there for you uh, as well. We also have access to a range of uh, additional support, whether it comes to funding for bursaries. So if you're on a course that's got lots of expensive equipment, there might be financial support available to you. We run 15 bus routes from across the region into um, college. So if there isn't a direct uh, public transport route on, uh, on the area that you live, there may well be uh, a college route and there might be bursaries available to you uh, for that as well. But college is not just about studying. It's not just about the qualifications you get. It's not just about uh, the things that you do in the classroom and the things that we support you with uh, to make sure that you're academically excellent. We do have a wide range of extracurricular activities. Almost all of these uh, activities are student led and students have an opportunity to create their own activities with the support of uh, members of staff and to lead and manage uh, their own groups as well as being a great opportunity to enrich your time with us as a student. 
these are also great opportunities to enrich your CV. If you can say I created this club and I led it and I was responsible for the fundraising and I was responsible for uh, bringing teams of people together, they're all great skills that you can not additionally add to your um, CV alongside the great quality um, outcomes that, that you will have. One of the great privileges of being a college principal is the opportunity to attend a large number of events throughout the year. And here are some uh, examples of those. Students have the opportunity to showcase their talents uh, whenever uh, th there's a chance to do so. Now, I was hugely disappointed as we went through the summer period and I didn't see a single student uh, production. I'm more optimistic that as we move through the next academic year and we start to see greater freedoms, I might get the opportunity again to see a fashion show showcasing our students' work, that I might get to sit in our theatre and listen to our talented musicians and actors and dancers and see what it is that they've got to do. And I can see our sports teams out there competing and doing the things that they do exceptionally well well and I hope that you will want to be uh, part of that as well. Given that things are a little bit different this year, lots of what we are undertaking will be uh, managed online, at least in the first period. So the majority of enrolment is taking place online. That if you've got uh, things which are special about you and you think actually I don't think I can apply for this course online I really need the opportunity to speak to somebody or actually I'd quite like to come in and see somebody uh, face to face those opportunities are available but contact us and request an appointment there are staff available uh, in the building to talk to you but I would ask that you make uh, an appointment to do that in the vast majority of circumstances you should be able to complete an online application enroll and to receive your confirmation that you have successfully joined us as a York College student with all of the information you need to start in a new academic year. The first part of the academic year will feel a bit different to academic years gone by and most courses will be delivered in what we refer to as a blended mode and that basically means that some of your lessons will take place face to face on site and some of your lessons will take place uh, online with a teacher either communicating to you like this in the way that I am now or by having set you some independent work to undertake. That said, you will still have a full time course. You will still have the right amount of directed um, tuition. There will be some changes to uh, site services. So we will, of course, have to maintain social distancing um, as we uh, manage our campus. So you might have to follow uh, arrows to move around the building safely. Classrooms are set up uh, slightly uh, differently this year. Students will be facing the front, a smaller degree uh, of group work. Those things are designed to keep us all safe. We are living with uh, a virus, COVID-19, within the community. I want this college to be a safe place and therefore our priority focus is on safety uh, alongside making sure you have a great experience as a student and are well prepared uh, as you can be to making sure that you're successful into the future. Now I know that there has been lots of criticism about the lateness of announcements of uh, other people, not least of all uh, in the last seven days uh, when it comes to exam results. We're, you've got our solemn promise that we are not going to do that in York College. We are only going to make changes to our delivery model once a half term and only if it's safe to do so. So the model that I've described to you there, this mixed model of sometimes in college, sometimes we're uh, learning from home, is the model that we will stick to uh, until at least October half term and we will review that on a six weekly basis. So if we don't change it in October, then we won't change it until after Christmas. And if we don't change it after Christmas, we won't change it until February half term and so on and so on through the year. So you can be certain what's expected of you over at least a six to, six to seven week window. What I can't legislate for is if we are told locally or nationally to move to a second stage of complete lockdown. But one of the other reasons that we want to work in this way is if that should happen, I want our students to be the best prepared uh, amongst students in the country to cope with that uh, way of working in that online uh, world. This is definitely not uh, a second rate offer. It is definitely not a way of reducing the contact time that, that you have on your course. It's a high quality way of learning. Our students have benefited from that uh, in the period that we've been uh, in lockdown and I'm hopeful that you will benefit from that uh, too. So you have our full commitment to making sure your commitment, uh, our commitment to you uh, is a positive one and that ultimately you are successful. 
that's all I wanted to say by way of introduction to uh, the college. I'm really pleased that you've taken the time to log in to this uh, virtual event. I am also really sad that I've not had the opportunity to meet uh, you face to face on campus. Again, one of the great privileges that I seem to have lost this year uh, as a college principal is both the opportunity to celebrate with students who are delighted about their examination uh, outcomes over the last week, but also to meet new students and new families who are joining us uh, for the first time. Now I hope we will get to that position again as a whole nation where we can come together uh, and be together because it's certainly uh, one of the parts of the jobs that I find uh, most uh, rewarding and fulfilling to have an opportunity to meet you, to know you, to share in your successes with you. You'll have an opportunity to hear from a range of my colleagues across uh, the afternoon. Uh, next, I think you'll be able to hear from Glyn Jones, who's our Vice Principal for uh, Technical and Applied uh, Education. He will be with you to set out in a bit more detail what you might expect if you're in uh, an academic and applied area, in particular uh, around A-levels. I hope you find the afternoon useful. If there are questions that remain afterwards, of course, do get in touch with us. Uh, find the information uh, on the website. Do get in touch with us and make an appointment if you think you need to be in. We are here for you. We're definitely uh, open for business and really excited to be welcoming our new cohort of students for 2020-2021 in a few, a few weeks time. Thank you very much.